What is going on guys? It's Crazy Pickle with another episode for the beginner's guide. Alright, so today we're going to talk about symbols again. Uh, I know I will probably talked about that um, before, uh, but I actually didn't get into it. So, But today we're going to talk exactly the setup for the DPS, defense, and uh, support categories. Uh, usually for the DPS going to be your daily setup that you're going to use the every day for your missions directives that you do then a defense of course is going to be just for the part when you do the distortion and if you're tanking uh, it's going to be set up for that I'm just going to let you know right away that I'm not like really expert about the defense setup uh, because I pretty much don't even tank I don't even remember the last time I was using a tank and tanking and distortions on avatar uh, we, I, we have in a Pantheon people who are actually really good at that and I might just gonna, you know, I got some information from them and so I kind of know the basic setup and stuff like that. So if you know anybody who actually knows about the tanking set, tank setup and all that, go ahead and just ask them for the advice, the what they need to change and stuff like that. It, they They will definitely help you with that, so... And of course the uh, support setup will be pretty much for the light binder, same as the defense that um, using light binder just as a complete support class and just to, for the survivability uh, and just keep um, give the buffs for your teammates. Alchemy is going to be different. If you have a talent then pretty much the alchemy is going to be as a DPS setup anyway. Alright guys. Um, on this on uh on that note let's get started all right so the first setup we're gonna go over the dps and let's just jump right into it uh, we're gonna go open abilities symbols so let's say uh just don't mind this too. Uh, if if you unlocked all of the uh, temples in your for your god, then the verdict will be available for you. This is just a new thing that we got from nine event, and I believe for now that's the only place that you can get it. But since the event is gone and it doesn't, it's not available for now. So anyway, um, pretty much the basic stuff for your daily. <coughs> Uh, missions that you do, directives, operations, uh, maybe you just helping um, your Pentan mates or friends, uh, stuff like that. So if you're gonna go full DPS, then <clears throat> your emblems of destruction would be your first symbol. Then you go for the emergency maneuver dodge, which is uh, attacks used against you have a chance to put you in emergency maneuver state. In this state, your next dash will not consume resources and will make you, t you immune to damage and control effects for 4 seconds. So it's pretty useful. Uh, it has 24 seconds um, cooldown. So I don't. I think it's uh, it's enough time for you to like survive and just keep use the dash again to get that. Um, immunity for at least four seconds so I'm pretty much using that for I would say every class like that that symbol goes for like each class that no matter what class it is you can just use that all the time uh, so the divine intervention in intervention oh my god alright incoming damage is completely blocked if it exceeds 10% of the character's maximum health. The character becomes immune to damage and negative effects for 4 seconds. The effect is activated no more than once in 70 seconds during a single fight. So it's yeah, minute and 10 seconds total cooldown. It's uh, It looks like a lot I think. I mean, you depends how much damage and how fast uh, you get the damage from enemies, <clears throat> but again, I'm using that symbol for all my DPS classes, and I don't think that, I mean, you could use Protective Shell too, let's say, because for every 10% of health lost, 
you gain an effect that reduces incoming damage by 40%. So, um, and it lasts 6 seconds. So pretty much it just only reducing the damage by 40%, but you're still getting damage. With Divine Intervention, for 4 seconds, you completely not getting any damage. None, none, none of the negative effects can put on you from the enemies. And the cool thing actually about the Divine Intervention that if you have any negative effects already uh, that the enemies uh, put some negative effects on you and that if Divine Intervention triggered, it completely removes that. So I would say that's kind of pretty cool thing and I'm again I'm using this symbol for my every DPS class. Um, with that, so with the next uh, symbol, uh, it's gonna be tricky. I would say the hunt technique I'm using for classes that have, um, you know, like if you watched my Cryomancer updated guide, and there is the icy comet which also pops like on the left side of your screen, so it's like the free comet that you get get. So I'm using that hunt technique for the classes like that, who has the abilities like that, that you can get like a free Icy Comet or if it's an Outlaw, like a free grenade and uh, like like a Necromancer had that free like a Skull Throw, so because the Hunt technique, it what it does, it enhanced versions of class abilities are triggered more often. So whatever class has that um, ability that it triggers and it kind of gives you the free version of it and of course the limits will maybe damage or like a negative effect from that is a little bit higher than from the regular ability so that one it helps to trick that as off like more often so it says like a trick more often uh, so I'm using that ability for class specifically for classes like that uh, who has that ability that you can like icy comet um, usually um, the Revenant actually has the Slaughter which pops uh, also on the left side so you can get that and so pretty much if you let's say don't have that um, you can use Pain Shock so it also could be depends on maybe how strong you are so let's say well, the Pain Shock is only using offensive abilities, allows you to use Pain Shock. Pain Shock inflicts some damage uh, to the single target and stuns them. So, it's. I would say it's still useful. Before we actually got Hunt Technique, we always was using Pain Shock. Um, but when we got that Hunt Technique, which it was new symbol, so we just start using that. But if you, let's say, maybe you don't have that, or you prefer Pain Shock, then you, you definitely can go for the Pain Shock. Um, that's that's pretty much, you can just choose Pain Shock or Hunt Technique. So, but by this time, at this stage, since you can do your Bastion Quest unlimited time, I'm sure you by this time you already have pretty much all the symbols unlocked. It depends, of course, how often you play and how much you, time you spend to do the Bastion quest. So anyway, Pain Shock or Hunt Technique. So that's two symbols you can choose for your DPS setup. So the next symbol, um, you can actually choose between, uh, again, between two symbols. So usually I'm using the Berserker mode, so it's Companions attack now inflicts uh, some damage, but it targets as a selected, so the target is selected randomly. So um, I believe the way it works when you trick your, um, I don't I, I actually don't even know, how, I, I actually forgot how to do that. So there is a, like a, it tricks when you, um, when you hit the enemy, let's say above your dashes, how many dashes you have, like on the right side of your health bar, there's the top one. I think it's like called charge something. Um, so when when that triggers, it also triggers uh, the berserker mode. So I think that's how it works. I mean, I'm using that for my 
HTPS class, uh, you can actually guys use the companion uh, support mode. So the companion's basic attacks are replaced with support mode. In this mode, the companion has a certain chance to boost a random ally in 20 yard radius when impulse charge, what? Th that's how it calls, impulse charge is activated. So that, that thing about uh, your uh, dashes, how many dashes you have, that thing about it's the impulse charge. Okay. There are no friendly targets nearby or you're not in a group. So um, if you do something by yourself, definitely it's going to put that support thing just on you. So the companions boost increased damage dealt by 20%. Um, I would say you can start with that and then the stronger you get, you can use the berserker mode. I mean, some still, some people actually still using support mode. Probably, like I saw a lot during like distortions run when we do, I get like a buff, like that support mode buff from the companion. Uh, I would pretty much say if the entire group would use that in distortions on avatar. So pretty much each, like a lot of people can actually get that extra 20% damage deal so but again right now it's kind of like a daily like for your everyday use uh, so you can again choose the berserker mode or support mode um, it's completely up to you but if you're not let's say strong enough and you do stuff by yourself you can go for the defense mode so companion shield reduces incoming damage by 50% so it it helps. I would say the the stronger you get, the then defense mode you pretty much you don't need it when you get stronger unless you do something really big like distortion and it's crazy. You need to do exactly defense mode instead of like damage or something just for the survivability. But if you're not strong enough, you can use defense mode. If you're getting stronger, you can use either berserker mode or or support mode. So that's that. Um, and pretty much this one, you can either choose reactive material or awakening of power. So I didn't see much difference between these two. So, but I'm just using awakening of power. And but I was using the rea uh, reactive material before. Um, so I didn't actually kind of get a chance to actually test more about that. Uh, but yeah, you can just choose reactive materials or awakening of power. And of course the last symbols you can go for the black mark. Let's say if you really if you're strong enough uh, that you you don't need enough like you can survive for a long time, so depends on the situation. Uh, you can use the black mark, which is the energy discharge increases the damage of next attacks used against the affected target. Additional damage that can be inflicted using the effect cannot exceed 15% of your health. So it puts like a debuff on a target like for, I would say like 5 or 6 seconds. During these 5-6 seconds, whatever um, abilities and just regular basic attack you're using, so it increases the damage on that so kind of like a debuff like maybe it's decreased damage but it's actually increasing um, so I mean de decreasing defense on the target but increasing your damage something like that so uh, usually really good against single targets uh, but again if you not strong enough you need more survivability you can go for the stolen energy so Energy Discharge will also apply a shield to you that absorbs 8% of character's maximum health. And of course, the more health you have, the stronger that shield will be. Um, so yeah, pretty much if you're strong enough, Black Mark. If you're not strong enough, Stolen Energy. And this, this you always have the Willpower and the Divine Healing, which well know when you become a god you have these abilities all the time and of course we had that nine event and we got new thingies um, I mean the transcendence is really good maybe for classes that doesn't have um, the class ulti cooldown really big let's say Revenant only has like a, what, a minute 
uh, so that way you can just during the battle uh, you can actually switch uh, to different classes so you don't need to be god but pretty much you switch classes like you are in the god form so when even during the battle so that's kind of pretty cool thing uh, if you have it that's pretty cool you can just e apply for classes that doesn't have a class ulti cooldown really big like nine ten seven minutes whatever uh, maybe like outlaw would work for it revenant um, kinetic it doesn't have a big cooldown on ultimate ability and of course the last um, section which is the divine weapons so I as you can see I have all the div divine weapons unlocked um, some of them are already upgraded which we also got the upgrades some of the upgrades we got from 9 event um, that upgrade for the Makavan I got it from the market by using the artifact that I got from by killing the actual avatar champion avatar whatever and so yeah uh, let's say if you don't have any of these weapons well the Flavius is emitter you can get it in Hall of Trophies and I I'm not gonna suggest you get that it's no don't even spend uh, victory medals on this uh, because when we got that we got it from 9 event some people got it from uh, some people actually used it in uh, Hall of Trophies they bought it I believe but no, now it, because it's in a Hall of Trophies, don't even think about to spend victory medals on that. So let's say you don't have any other weapons unlocked. So right, you don't have all that middle uh, bottom row. So you have only um, the this first four, which is pretty much you get this first four divine weapons from the Bastions when you complete those. For your DPS definitely gonna be uh, the Nerian's hammer for all the time you can use that. Uh, it's really a good weapon. You can use it in both ways. You can just sh uh, hit the single targets with just the left clicks, or you can uh, use your right click just to do the area damage. So if you have a bunch of enemies in front of you, you can use that too. So pretty cool weapon. Really good too. Um, you can use that anywhere you want um, so yeah that's pretty much for the DPS setup it's that um, unless I mean you can use the sword which is uh, when you spin it pulls all enemies to you but I don't think it's a really good idea if you're trying to uh, kind of avoid getting damaged uh, so but yeah I would I would suggest to use the New Year's hammer, hammers all the time for your daily um, routine uh, for your DPS classes. Um, if you do have some of these weapons, let's say maybe you have the integrator weapon, I'm using that weapon every day. Uh, I'm using that just when I'm doing my regular missions. I don't use much of the Akanitas Viper, I don't even know why the hell I got it, but I just got it. Uh, I don't use that at all. Uh, that one I used when I was soloing C1 and C I mean, uh, I mean the B1 and B2, which is the the Fighter Knight's first two distortions. And of course the Macavans, uh, you definitely need that. If you have, if you can get a hand on that, definitely get that uh, because that will one you will need for your uh, light binder setup. So I think that's that for the DPS setup and of course well just one thing to mention you have uh, pack 1, pack 2, pack 3 so you can uh, kinda pack 1 set up for your daily thing and then pack 2 set up maybe for like let's say distortion and then pack 3 just to for whatever just to adjust let's say oh let's say I don't need the pain shack maybe I need a reflective barrier and you still may be doing a distortion or avatar so so yeah, you can just, that's kind of a pretty cool thing, uh, you can just use three different setups and maybe one setup is just for kind of adjusting symbols here and there, depends what you do. Um, so I think that's that for the DPS setup, let's jump to the defense class. Alright, so the defense, um, let's say 
<clears throat> you only have the Paladin class, right? Because to unlock the Knight, uh, I think you need like what, 35,000 or 30, 25,000 Spark of Transformation. Well, let's say you just have a Paladin. Still defense class, really good class, has two different shields and etc. Anyway, so it's not about that. Uh, it's just the symbols now. So let's jump right into it. Symbols. Um, well, count that this setup right here for me is just because of the weapon that I have from the pack, which is really cool. Um, it's all damage and has a specific ability that you can actually kind of uh, get the health back when you do when you attack an enemy. So anyway, we just still gonna go and see if I have any setups at all so I don't uh, let's just go for the pack 2 and just do the setup for the defense so what I know and what I observed from people who actually plays the tank a lot and especially when during distortions there's a few people who knows how to tank they have a, a gear setup for the tank and, and all that so of course the symbols so what I know that um, I believe in my opinion you can definitely go for the emblems of protection so every time you drop one bar of uh, health from the boss, it will drop the emblem. So and of course the emblems of protections. Uh, when you pick that up, you receive a temporary shield that absorbs damage of up to 10% of your total health. Again, more health you have, the stronger that shield will be. It doesn't say the exactly time for how long, but I believe uh, it's like four or five seconds so it's, it's enough time to get the extra shield maybe while you're waiting for the cooldown of your actual shield abilities so that's that for that um, I don't think you need the uh, emblems I mean you could use emblems of mercy but that way it works it heals not just you it restores the 5% health to the most wounded group members so uh, if somebody got a lot of damage for whatever reason and you're just gonna pick up keep picking up the emblem the emblems of mercy it's not gonna heal you um, so I would still gonna go for the emblems of protection so the next one you can again go for the uh, emergency maneuver dodge that's that's you need all the time here's the thing that um, some people use in divine inter intervention too, but some people use an actually protective shell. So because you keep the boss on you pretty much all the time, uh, I would say, and I saw that, uh, that a lot of people use in protective shell, because you keep getting the damage and sometimes you get more than 10% hit uh, to you, so you keep gaining... Uh, that buff that reduced damage by 40% for last in last six seconds. So we definitely you gonna have to go for that. Um, so the next one will be definitely reflective barrier. Um, I don't think you that's the only one symbol for the defense you need. So we're definitely gonna use that. Reflective barrier is using offensive ability allows you to use reflective barrier, and of course it will pop on the right side. Of your screen and let's say it's, if it's a PC version for you it will be uh, letter E to activate it and reflective barrier reflects all damage back at the enemy for eight seconds but does not allow you to perform any action so when you use that don't move at all so don't use any other abilities just let the eight seconds go by and you will not get any damage so the maximum amount of reflected damage is 33% of your health and pretty much when you use that you don't get any damage so you are completely immune to any damage <clears throat> but let's say if a boss or whoever enemy use some kind of abilities that it move your character maybe it's a kind of a stun or something or like um, pulling you towards like two to the, like your enemy pulls you closer so it will um, interrupt that reflective barrier so any moves any actions uh, that you do or the bosses do that your character moves it will um, 
interrupt that effect. So, but definitely use that all the time for your uh, defense setup. Uh, here is the thing that, of course, you can use the defense mode. Um, but again, it's the random. I believe it's uh, what it says. Again, apply the shield to the most wounded ally in 20 yard radius when impulse charge is activated. If you <coughs> are the most wounded ally, the shield will be applied to you, of course. And usually it doesn't happen like that. Still, depends on the mission, uh, <coughs> depends on the situation too. So if somebody in your group is the most wounded ally, then it's not going to get it's that that person will get that buff so that's kind of a tricky part right here you can still use defense mode um, the random attack no, you don't need that definitely uh, so I would just probably go for the defense mode anyway in uh, of de it depends on the situation if boss if it's only one boss and it always keep hitting you then yes, you're gonna be a most wounded ally, definitely. So that thing will go always on you, and of course, it's gonna reduce his incoming damage by 50%. So let's just go with that. Uh, but again, if you know people who knows a lot about defense part and they play a lot, they really good at that. Go ahead and ask them for the for the advice or. Well, you know, you can ask them questions. They will definitely help you. They will help you with the setup and all that. Uh, here is the thing that 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 part in the symbols. It's again, uh, you can either go reactive materials or awakening power. Um, I don't. Well. Sudden death. Um, so pretty much, yeah, that, that kind of part about talks about the, I would say, about the divine weapons, I think. So that's, I'm um, kind of still don't know. I'm, I would probably use reactive material or awakening power anyway, but uh, maybe there is a that other symbol you just tanks using for something. So let's just go for awakening power anyway. Um, so the last symbol it's definitely gonna be stolen energy so you get that shield and it absorbs 8% of the character's maximum health so definitely gonna be that and yes uh, healing willpower and I would say you need a verdict so if you have a knight that way you can um, restore the ultimate ability for your knight that you can resurrect one more time because the knight's ability is the whiplash is the resurrection and restores 100% of knight's maximum health. Um, <clears throat> Radiant aspect for paladin it also removes all the negative effects from paladin it's three minutes cooldown teleports them to the selected target and stuff like that so definitely you can uh, use verdict for that to restore the ultimate ability if you do have it well if you don't have it then you don't have it uh, and the sim the last one divine divine weapons um, again it could be tricky it could depends on the situation I think I'm not sure if you can use improved uh, I mean the Metarka stuff which when you're using the letter R to drop the weapon into the ground um, it puts shields uh, so it's called last barrier here at the bottom consumes all the remaining energy and makes all allies invulnerable for six seconds after that they will not be able to receive the same effect for 40 seconds so that part again I'm not so sure um, because what the way they did it the Metarka stuff that on support classes it triggers more often than DPS or uh, defense classes so it still triggers but it has less less chance uh, for d d defense and DPS classes so I'm could be you can use that um, 
depends on the situation you can use improve uh, or Laertes's sword so let's say if you do something that there's a lot of enemies you fighting against then you can use that for that because and if it's an improved version it pulls the enemies to you so that way the enemies not gonna be able to attack other teammates so you just keep pulling when you're using your right click on that sword and yeah again I would say you can just ask who actually knows more about that uh, I gotta try to pay attention to what kind of uh, divine weapons they using uh, but I'm not 100% sure so I would say if you don't have any of that then I mean if you do have that glove of Thanatos I mean for tank it could be really good because if you're using um, your right click after like a four left clicks so touch of death uh, it puts four um, it says applies one level of hunger so when you do four levels of that and then you use your right click which is a life drain it pulls enemy towards you inflicts damage to them and restores 100% of your health I would say that would be really good for the tank as long as it triggers as often as as you need it um, because that way you will have extra uh, let's call it chance or ability to kind of get the health back if you really need it if let's say if some of your shields on a cooldown I mean I guess you can use that um, but yeah I mean I, I probably could use that and just maybe try it um, but we'll see so I think that's that for the defense symbol setup uh, I will definitely talk. Ab will talk about the uh, defense stats and gear setup. So, but before I will do that, I have to actually talk to the person who uh, who actually tanks a lot, and he already <clears throat> have the defense setup. So I will talk to them about. Maybe I'll just ask him to send me a screenshots of each. Um, piece of the gear what kind of stats he got there so that way it's gonna be easy for me to actually maybe do it for myself uh, so yeah and I will definitely do the video for that uh, I believe you can use the defense setup pretty much for your light binder too same with the gear and yeah so that's part about the defense and let's jump to support part alright so support um, pretty much what I mean by support uh, that it's gonna be just about I would say light binder uh, because alchemist with his talent it's technically it's a DPS at the moment so we will we not we, we don't know what's gonna happen in the future maybe they will do something with that talent I'm not sure so but I hear it I keep hearing rumors that there could be some changes for the alchemist talent and we will see but we're gonna talk about the support and just complete support but like buffs like that you actually support your group whatever you do right so and of course the light binder it's the only class right now that we're using just for the support so let's jump right into it and the symbols of course um and again the first thing you could use emblems of protection or emblems of mercy because uh, maybe you just because the emblems of mercy actually help uh, healing the other allies and since we pretty much don't have the class that can actually heal uh, restore health to any teammate or something like that so you can use the emblems of mercy for that or the emblems of protection for your survivability so you kinda choose between these two uh, also it depends on the situation so if something that you know that you don't need emblems of mercy to kinda of help your other teammates to restore their health and you need the survivability that of course goes for the emblems of protection then of course it's gonna be emergency maneuver dodge as like I said that the, that symbol I'm using for every class for every class this thing I would um, my opinion I would still use the divine intervention instead of um, the protective shell so I I just know I just 
that for me divine intervention really works um, so you can try the both of those and see which one is best works for you for me it's divine intervention and maybe for you it's gonna work the protective shell would work better than that so you can definitely try that um, here you can use the same reflective barrier or you can use the protective dome so reflective barrier just for yourself um, so if for some reason you get uh, a lot of hits from the enemies and you need to survive then yes you can use the reflective barrier just to protect yourself uh, the protective dome is uh, reduces damage taken by all your allies in 12 yard radius including you by 60 percent but does not let you perform any actions and can be interrupted by movement cooldown 50 seconds so um, when you use that you can like a see like a big blue like a dome sh and it looks like a shield uh, so whoever inside of that will get uh, 60% less damage from enemies so but again if you move it will interrupt that also depends what you do which mission uh, distortion avatar whatever situation that is you can choose between two most of the time you can use reflective barrier uh, so but if you need to protect the allies for whatever reason then you definitely can use protective dome so that's that um, for me, I think you can choose again uh, support mode to boost increased damage dealt by 20. Uh, it's completely random again. And of course, defense mode. So the wounded ally, the most wounded ally will get that shield. So you can choose between those two. Um, again, not really sure about this. I'm using the awakening of power. So. I guess that that that, that section here kind of maybe not really matters a lot I think so and the last symbol is the stolen energy of course so that I will have the shield pretty much every time um, it's kind of tricks it doesn't say exactly if there is any cooldown on that but I noticed that it tricks as often and so you pretty much have the shield every time I would say um, of course the divine healing willpower and the verdict because of the LB ulti is has like eight minutes cooldown so and of course on the light binder you will always use Macavan's guard so in pretty much the Macavan's guard you use it's the right click and uh, let's see it's the third ability it's a blossom increases might of four allies in a 30 yard radius by 60 percent um, why it says of alchemist might I mean so pretty much don't don't mind the alchemist part it it uh, increases might of four allies in 30 yard radius by 60 percent from your might let's call that way so what it, the more might you have it will increase four allies by 60 percent so so the highest might you have the more they will get uh, for 12 seconds attack class allies take priority so which is the DPS classes um, at the end of the effect these allies get awareness uh, for 8 seconds which is you cannot apply any other buffs uh, for those classes that got that buff from you and of course then you're gonna use the sapling which is sticks Mac guard into a ground a few seconds later it starts growing and spawns three healing orbs so pretty much that's what you do it's gonna be a right click and then uh, letter R to get rid of the weapon so um, yeah I, that's that's that for that so pretty much the light binder symbol setup it's really it's pretty much close to the uh, defense classes so because you need to survive you don't need any damage you don't need extra whatever uh, you completely need to survive to keep your allies to 
to give the, your allies the buffs that they need to kill the target or enemy as fast as possible. So, again, uh, I will talk to people who maybe have already light binders, um, like a gear stat setup, so that too, and I will definitely gonna do the video about that. So, alright guys, um, I think that this is it for this video, so let me uh, know in your comments down below what you think, maybe you have any questions, I will uh, answer as soon as possible. So if you like this video so far guys, please hit the like button, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. Uh, there is a lot more coming, I'm still working on a lot of stuff right now, so kind of trying to find the time to kind of keep going with that so um, alright guys um, well the one thing I will mention that you can also follow me on Twitter at crazy pickle 7 um, also I'm working on a Facebook page at the moment so it's not available yet but it will be soon so I will keep you updated on that guys and yeah hit the like button subscribe notification all that happy stuff and until the next time guys take care